Safaricom shares at the Nairobi Security Exchange recorded marginal increase on the news of the appointment of Pete Ndegwa as new chief executive officer. This as current CEO and board member Michael Joseph downplayed sentiments that the move was as a result of shareholders' pressure. Dennis Otieno reports. As the dust settles on the appointment of Peter Ndegwa as new Safaricom CEO, most Kenyans welcome the move across the country. Kenya to Mefraya, Tatuna Munga Mukona is a Fanya Kazi, a Sagamu Panda Wote. Tuna Imani Kwamba was the services and by Bom Kolimoka Tolea, Pia OCM, COM Pia to a Safaricom, a desert Seria Kamaswa Kenya. Speaking to Citizen Television hours just after the appointment, CEO Michael Joseph said Ndegwa was a perfect fit for the role. He has deep experience in, in multinationals. He's worked in Nigeria, he's worked in Ghana, of course, he's worked in Kenya. Now he's heading up Europe. He has multinational experience. Um, he's in a big organization like Diageo. Um, and so I think he was the right choice for the job. With his experience, market observers say his tenure at the helm of the listed telco would be an interesting watch. The question is, is his appointment a signal from Safaricom that maybe they want to uh, look at retail cons uh, consumer more uh, than anything else? So you have, if we have the right person who does the right job, I think it will be excellent not only for the company but for the country as well. Of course, like everything else, it's a double-edged sword in the sense that if, if then that becomes a political process, uh, you know, we are not, our politics is not the best. We do not want to export that, our bad habits from the political end to the way we run a company of Safaricom standing. At the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Safaricom shares moved up slightly 0.35% to close at 28 shillings and 60 cents per share from Thursday's trade. Equity Group CEO James Mwangi, speaking to Citizen TV, also welcomed the move by the Safaricom board. Peter Degwa, who I'm very privileged to have been in CRAS AP, uh, uh, AMP together for six years, uh, who understands the intricacies of our society and hopefully will tweak uh, the offering, as I say, uh, so that uh, Safaricom can continue to have greater impact into our society. Having spent over 25 years working for multinationals, Peter Ndegwa's track record is not in doubt. He now has his work cut out for him as he joins one of the most successful companies in the region. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.